Ayo Shalom. O Prince the Yahweh Hashem Yahshua Hashem Rakakadash. Double one to see apostles of Allah's great millstone and one. Shalom to the brothers that didn't know how to certain truth. Uh, I found this arc on the Guardian. It's basically going into a. Uh, <clears throat> you know, the Sesame credit system or social credit system. They got popping off over in China. And, you know, that's pretty much, um, that's pretty much like a system they want where, uh, hmm. that's pretty much a system they want where, um, everyone's, uh, you know, what well, that they want over in the West, man. They want it over in the West, you know, the elites, this is what they fervently desire to have in the West, where it's locked down, everyone's basically... Under lock and key. And if you don't behave the way the elites want you to, then you get, you know, you get whacked. And, you know, they're, they're going to obviously be implementing an RFID chip in that, which is something that, you know, China's, the way they're moving as well, is they're going to be having that as well. Over there real soon, man. Because them guys kind of, they... they tend to just uh, try out, you know, they t they test out all these different technologies and, uh, you know, concepts in China first, where they were just kind of rubber it, because people in China are way more docile, they used to be in, um, they used to be in just slaves more or less. They utilize like, I don't know, man, like brick movers, man, out there to just build shit for the West. And it's a thing where they've kind of, with the technology as well, a lot of it's been centralized. Like, you'll use like one app on your phone to pretty much do a lot of things. And, you know, and this Sesame Credit system has slowly been expanded. And they've, and as well, they've been building up their, like, you know, their surveillance, their facial recognition technology is meant to cover like the whole of Beijing. And it's meant to be hard. Like, I think they've said they can find someone in like 10, 15 minutes. So, hey, these, you know, it's, it's becoming a, a true dystopia over there, man. It says what, um, China bans 23 million from buying travel tickets as part of social credit system. <laughs> It says, people are accused of social offences, blocked from booking flights and train journeys. It says, China has blocked millions of discredited travellers from buying plane or train tickets as part of the country's controversial social credit system aimed at improving the behaviour of citizens. According to the National Public Credit Information Centre, Chinese courts banned would-be travellers from buying flights 17.5 million times by the end of 2018. That's a hell of a lot of, of, of blocked flights. It says citizens placed on blacklist for social credit offences were prevented from buying train tickets 5.5 million times. It says a report released last week said once discredited, limited everywhere. And, you know, that's, that's showing how much of a madness it is. Because... It you know it was gone from a concept to now your ass really can't even um <laughs> yeah you can't even escape you might be thinking fuck this I'm gonna go to Singapore or Thailand or some shit <laughs> now you can't even fucking afford the ticket man and that's you know that's what Esau wants over here this is what you basically your sister with. Being able to limit your capabilities unless you bow down to him and do do as he wants. And the vast majority of people he wants to abs to murder anyway, man. So the few remaining he wants them obedient. It says the aim is to allow the trustworthy to roam everywhere under heaven while making it hard for the discredited to take a single step. Social credit offences range from not paying individual taxes or fines 
to spreading false information and taking drugs. More minor violations include using expired tickets, smoking on a train, or not walking a dog on a leash. Local governments and agencies have been piloting aspects of the system which will, which will eventually give every Chinese citizen a personalised score. Critics said authorities in China were using technology and big data to create an Orwellian state of mass surveillance and control, which is exactly what they're doing. From when they can actually deny, and they, they're actually denying you the capability to leave the country by flight. I don't know if you can take a boat somewhere. Maybe you can. Maybe you can actually still leave the country. But you know, limiting flights, limiting train tickets, that's fucked. <laughs> you know, you get caught in the web, then you're that's that's your mobility is hampered, man. If you can't drive, it starts getting peak. It says authorities have previously used blacklists to limit the travel of some citizens, but the social credit system appears to have expanded the practice. China Supreme Court said in 2017 that 6.15 million citizens had been barred from taking flights because of social credit offences. Last year, China's National Development and Reform Commission said it would begin banning people on public transport for up to a year. The recent report also said that 128 people were prevented from leaving China because of unpaid taxes. According to the report, other penalties for the individuals include being barred from buying insurance, real estate or investment products. Companies on the blacklist are banned from bidding on projects or issuing corporate bonds. (laughs) Man, you just get completely fucked. (laughs) The report said authorities collected more than 40 million data points of untrustworthy conduct last year, including scams, unpaid loans, false advertising, and occupying reserve seats on trains. <laughs> uh, that's hell on earth, man. So you could you could have sat one seat to the left. You know you could have it could have been someone could have mislabeled the reserve seat, and then like uh, and you sit in the wrong one. They're like, oh sorry, that's my seat. It's reserved. He's like, oh, well, I'm just, I've been sitting here. That seat's reserved. You could use that one. Then he takes a picture of you and reports you, and you're just fucked. Then you're fu- You're thinking, you're going on holiday to Bahamas next week. Then you can't go. You pay for the tickets and everything. That's hell on earth, man. You know, this is a kind of dystopian future. The so-called white man wants, where it's just like everything you have to, anything you want to do, any action you want to take, you have to go through him. And he's like, what? You dare to come against the gods. And then you'll just be like, okay, you, slave. Now, never again shall you do that. I'm looking to just fuck you up, man. Uh, a video of a train passenger refused to give up a seat another passenger had reserved went viral last year. Sparking a debate over whether the car... So I imagine that fucking actually did happen. Oh my god. <laughs> you know, that. I mean, that just shows how much... That's... Like, really. That's like that's how you know that's Esau's hand and all that. Because why in the hell... Like, bro, a fucking reserved train seat, man. Whether the current system of banning such travellers was harsh enough... Oh, what, it's a, it sparked a debate over whether that was harsh enough. So you want it to be worth... That's how Esau will get you, man. They'll do... The thing is, is, is the, you know, all you have to do is you do a false flag and you just make it like, no, please, we need more controls. I don't want to experience this. It says officials believe the system is working. The report said 3.5 million people or companies pay taxes or debts they owed. Because of the social credit system. Yeah, well, but then at what cost, man? Thing is, that's that's Esau's that total control, man. That devil, nigga. Just you know, the the Lord set up the law. The laws are there, man. They're set up, man. No, man. Come on, man. Esau's basically going wants to go above and beyond and just have some super total control. That's why he's having. That's why he's got China fucking with that shit now. Because China, you know, China's used to do that dry, that dry run. I basically see like, okay, let's see how it goes. 
Because it's a hot mess, man. Fucking hot mess. It says what? Um, Second Thessalonians 2 and 4. It says, Who opposeth and exalteth himself above all that is called the Most High, all that is worshipped, so that he has the Most High, sitteth in the temple of the Most High, showing himself that he is the Most High. Remember you not that when I was with you, I told you these things. And now you know that what withholdeth that he might be revealed in his time. For the mystery of iniquity doth already work. Only he who now letteth will let until we be taken out of the way. Yeah, so the mystery of iniquity has already worked. And that's Esau, man. This guy who's basically opposing his own of himself above everything. He wants to be the most high. He wants to have that total control. And, you know, this is in China, obviously. But... It's based off the system Esau wants, man, which the chip is going to be core to it. You already know all the technology they're pushing over there are chip-based. And then this Sesame Credit system stinks of the elites, man, of exactly what they would love to do, man. Have people... Because the thing is, is basically a surveillance, a surveillance state, man. That Orwellian surveillance state where everything's watched, every action's watched and measured. And they're making sure that you're uh, behaving as you're meant to be. You're complying with the system, man. Which is Esau trying to be that God, man. He's trying to be the God on earth. So you can play with my system. I'll destroy you, man. You know, that's how much of a devil this guy is, man. Fucking mad, man. <laughs> you know. But he's, the thing is, is he's going to get in. To a certain level, you know, he's going to get his system into a certain level. He's going to implement the chip, the mark of the beast, you know, the RFID. But, he's, you know, he's not going to lock it in. He's not going to secure it, man. He says, you know, Job, uh, Job 20 was about to fill his belly. That the Lord's going to rain his destruction upon him, man. <laughs> so, you know, I'll leave it there. You know, just sh it's, it's an example just to show how much of a fucking... The hell, how much hell on earth Esau wants, man? That fucking Sesame Credit system, man. I'll leave it there, man. I say all praise to Yahweh, Shemi, Hashem, Hashem, Kadosh. Double honesty, Apostle, Elders, Great Most, man. Shalom, Shalom.